everybody. All right, so after our recent conversation about some research opportunities and how to get involved in research at the University of Ottawa, uh, a few people asked me about how to write to a professor and what to write uh, in that introductory email. So let's start with what not to do. And this I've never received as, as a single example, uh, but parts of this I've actually received as an introductory email before. So here are some things not to do. So first, uh, be mindful of the email address that you use. Uh, do use a, a professional um, greeting when you start. Use full sentences and capitalization. Um, if you're working in an additional language, don't worry if it doesn't sound like, you know, if, at English as a first language speaker, that's not the intention. The intention is simply to be polite and respectful um, as you write and use just full words. Okay, so grammar mistakes are, are okay. Do your best, but it's, it's okay. Um, a professional sign off and include your, your name um, when you finish it up. Okay, so let's take a look at a better example. So many variations are okay. You don't have to use this exact template. Do feel free to personalize it, uh, but let's walk through this one. So first, uh, using your UOttawa email address, so it's a professional source email address, a professional way to sign on. If it's a professor, you can use professor in their name. Um, you can just simply use their full name. If you don't know what their title is, that's fine. Um, who you are is the starting, starting uh, point and then what you're interested in and it's helpful I know for me when I get a message to know what the deadline is that I'm that I'm working with so then what are you what are you looking for and that leads the next next bit so they know what we're thinking about what's going on in this message what the person needs to to attend to um, so could you please uh, you know can we please arrange a meeting um, and here are my availability so we, we don't have to go back and forth around availability this is when I'm available. We'll make it nice and easy to, to meet up. You might then want to include some highlights about yourself. And these don't have to be grades, um, but if there's a minimum cutoff, I think it's helpful to include, include that. Um, you might want to show some, um, some grades where it's either relevant to the research area uh, or ones that you want to show off. Um, and then talk about some of your skills. What would you bring? Um, do you bring curiosity? Um, is it communication skills? What, what do you as an individual bring that could be useful and additive to a research environment? You don't have to be an expert in the research and we certainly wouldn't expect that as an undergraduate student, you would, you would be an expert in something that somebody is spending their career studying. Okay, so be you as you, as you write this. Um, it's often helpful if you can attach uh, a CV to a resume and a, a copy of your transcript right there. And again, that's to, so the person reading it has the full information. You don't have to go back and forth um, asking for additional details. Okay, and maybe you want to talk a little bit about yourself and why you're interested in any other relevant background. Again, completely um, up to you what you decide to say there. Okay, and then a, some sort of professional sign off and then use your, your full name so they know who it is who's uh, writing. Okay, hope that's helpful.